Hi everyone, today is a perfume video and we are going to be checking in regarding my project perfume. Um, I initiated this project not because I felt like I had to use a perfume because I do that quite organically, but rather because I had a lot of questions on my channel. How do you use up 10 to 15 perfumes a year? And I'm just going to document this and it's it's going to be very clear how I do that. Um, so I'm using up uh, a few fragrances that I'm kind of close to completing anyway. And I am also using my spring fragrances. Normally in a month, I go through a total of about maybe 30 mils uh, of perfume. So a very, very small uh, perfume, the smallest full bottle perfume size. Normally that's how much I finish up in a month just because I change my clothes several times a day and I, I apply perfume several times because of that. Um, I do not usually apply a lot on my skin mostly because I have very sensitive skin that is prone to eczema. So I do try to avoid putting putting anything irritating like a bunch of alcohol with fragrance um, onto my skin. Uh, so I usually apply it um, in, a, in a cloud. And every, for everybody, it's going to be different. Everybody has their own ideas of how it is proper to wear perfume. Perfume oils are, are more likely, obviously, to apply on skin. Um, in terms of uh, just sprayer perfumes, I normally apply them in a cloud um, into the air and then I walk through the cloud. That way I've noticed it doesn't tend to trigger any eczema and or cause any issues for me and I still get to you know, use my perfumes. Um, that also is probably why I'm using them up faster than some of the other people who only um, apply a small amount but directly onto skin, mostly um, mostly because I need a little bit more because I'm applying it into the air. Um, that's basically kind of how it goes with fragrances for me. I, I reapply maybe once or twice a day um, because I generally wake up, I get ready, I have my work or clinic clothes that I wear. Then I come home after work, I change into home clothes. So reapply some other scent normally. And then I change into my pajamas before bedtime. And then I apply my nighttime scent because I like to sleep in scents that are maybe different from what I like to wear during the day. Uh, so it's all very complicated for me. That's how I like, like to use my perfumes, but God bless you if you wanna use them in some kind of a different way or apply it only once a day, um, then it's good for you, do that. But this is how I use them and that is how my skin tolerates fragrances. This time around, I have one that I finished and one that uh, I'm putting in. So, uh, so far, including the ones that I finished before, I'm gonna, I would have finished three perfumes in the first uh, two and a little bit months of uh, the year. The Let's start with the one that I ran out of and I was kind of expecting this to happen. This is the Aqua Allegoria Limon Verde from Guerlain Aqua Allegoria lineup. Um, there's really very little left lost check-in. So I finished this guy. I don't know if I'll be repurchasing it anytime soon, mostly because I have a lot of green scents and fresh scents that I purchased this past year, 2021. And I'm, I am planning to like really do a lot of damage on those. Therefore, I don't want to be buying anything extra. Um, this was quite a green um, cucumber grass citrus sort of scent, so very unisex, very lightweight. Uh, there wasn't even a hint of femininity here. This was a natural perfume, meaning that it was meant to evoke a natural scent of like what you would find in nature, cucumber and grass in this case. Uh, so it wasn't perfumey per se. It's very easy to wear. It doesn't wear a very long time, which means that you use up probably a little bit more, but that's Aqua Allegoria lineup. Most of them aren't super long lasting. They're all like eau de toilette, eau de colline, longevity. Um, I did enjoy Limon Vert. Will I buy it again in the future? It's a possibility, but right now I'm just swimming in green fresh fragrances. So I don't really need any more at the moment. Um, this one's used up. The one that I am going to add in is actually a Chloe fragrance. I dug this out. I didn't even include it in my perfume collection because it was uh, in a different room at the time. So I kind of forgot about it. But this one is an eau de toilette and I'm, inclu I'm including it because I'm really excited to, to pull it for spring. And this is Roses de Chloe. Uh, so it's... Uh, 
more than half used up. It's a small size. There's not a ton left. I do like the scent, and it's a, a scent of very fresh, um, pretty natural smelling, slightly green roses. Um, it is uplifting. It is fresh. It's very spring. So I am going to pull on that for the spring. And I'm going to focus on this one probably for the spring as well this year. Um, I'm enjoying it. It's definitely something that I got fairly recently and in a small size and it's already more than half used up. So uh, it's not going to be a challenge for me to finish it up. I enjoy it. I will continue using it and uh, probably finish it up pretty quickly because there's a, such a small amount. I'm assuming that's about 20 mils, maybe less. No, I'm assuming that's about like 10 mils left in here, really not more than that. So this is the one that is entering, coming in. Uh, I have here Narcisa Rodriguez Musk Collection at Parfum Intense. Um, this is one of the very limited edition hard to get ones that I'm not going to be able to replace. This is my second bottle of it. Um, it was about a third used up by sound. It's a photo opaque bottle, so I can't tell you exactly how much is in it. By the sound of it, it's about halfway through at this point. Um, love it. It's a beautiful clean musk with very little else. <laughs> if you want to have an idea of what a Narciso musk smells like on its own, kind of this. This is what it smells like on its own. Normally, they add a lot of florals. Lately, they've been... A re they've been Lately, there's been a release with fruity notes as well, but generally it's a musk floral situation that they release normally. And here, this is pretty much a pure musk as advertised, really. So very, um, very much enjoying it. I've been liking it. It's very refreshing. I think it's an all year sort of scent, so it's not going to be a challenge for me to continue incorporating it into my um, fragrance use um, for now. So about maybe, again, probably about half of it left, not that much. I am going to continue using it gladly, um, but I won't be able to update it uh, very precisely because who knows, I don't know how much is actually in there. Um, the fragrance that I definitely very much enjoy and have been repurchasing for years is number five from Chanel. This is the Eau de Toilette. Um, this is a big bottle. This is a 100 ml bottle. I generally don't buy 100 ml bottles unless it's a fragrance that I repurchase many, many times over. This one's a bit older, so what I need to do is I do need to finish this bottle. I have a few number fives, a few different iterations uh, from the lineup, and I just want to finish this one to move on to um, some of the other ones that I own. So I'm not, I'm not hurting for number fives at the moment. I have lots uh, and I'll be pro probably repurchasing this in the future. I mean, that's not even a question. I've done so, so many times. Um, it was about halfway at the last update. It's less than half left at the moment. Um, I like layering with this scent. This is a very, very good layering scent, um, mostly because it's quite soapy. So if you want to add freshness, aldehydes, and soapiness to the scent, uh, it's it's a perfume perfume, like very perfumey perfume um, with a vintage flair. And I definitely enjoy layering with it. I think it goes very well with any floral. And for spring, florals are so, sort of a thing. And I wear a lot of florals in the spring. So whenever I feel like making the scent a little bit more elevated or complex, I generally would layer with the, with the number five of the toilette. Um, of the toilette is the one that I would recommend you definitely smell before you buy because it does have a little bit of acidity undertone. So it's a little bit more challenging to wear. You have to have a taste for it. Um, but generally, you know, very easy to like, simple, soapy scent, um, soapy floral with aldehydes, kind of fizzy, slightly fizzy, very, very pretty. Um, I will be continuing to wear it. Uh, I've been using it a lot. I definitely will be able to finish it up before the end of the year, but maybe even earlier than that, we shall find out. The one that I didn't pick up at all, again, is Erin Lilac Path. I've pulled it in the beginning of the year because I wanted it for the spring, because I wear it heavily every spring, and this is basically a scent of lilacs. If you want like a true lilac scent, Lilac Path is excellent. It's essentially a solid floor. It's essentially just lilacs, which is a really, really good thing for me because I actually enjoy clean, pure lilacs without any, them being muddied up by anything else. So because I like lilacs, this is a very, very good pick for me. If you don't enjoy specifically lilacs and you like florals, but you like more complex florals, so go look somewhere else. This is probably not going to be your jam. However, who doesn't like a fresh flower, especially 
like a fresh lie. Like this is like quintessential spring. Um, I have about a half a bottle left. I picked it up, I think once so far, um, which just tells me that I still don't feel like it's hundred percent spring quite yet. Um, so I'll be probably pulling for it in the next month or two. And this is a usage sort of thing. So I'm not expecting myself to finish this bottle this spring. I am expecting to get through about 50% of what's left. So, um, have 50% of it still left for the next year. Uh, that's kind of my expectation just because this is the second bottle I own and, uh, one lasts me generally two to four years. Uh, and that, that's, that's what I'm kind of expecting to get out of it. Uh, haven't used it mostly because I probably haven't been feeling very springy quite yet. Uh, weather here has been pretty cold still, um, with freezing temperatures. I will, I will keep it out and we'll see how it goes over some of the spring months that are just coming up now. Another spring scent that I pulled that I wanted to use up is Parfum d'Ate from Kinzo. And I've been using it a lot actually. Um, this is pretty common for me to, to start reaching for this guy. This is a very easy aquatic floral to wear and use. It's very happy, it's very meadow, it's very uh, early spring when the snow is melting. That's kind of where it sits for me and what kind of feelings it evokes for me. It evokes, exa it evokes exactly these kinds of very early spring expectations of uh, the weather still being cold, but it's just the, the little the little brooks are just starting to, um, to run. It's just starting to um, pick up all that moisture that is thawing in the forest. Uh, when the winter is giving up and leaving. This is the picture that is evoked in my brain when I am smelling a uh, parfum d'été. It's called summer perfume, but for me, it's not summer at all. It's a spring perfume, in my opinion, for my use, uh, but e also easy to use whenever, any time of the year. Uh, I don't think that this is long for this world. I think this is going to be the next one to leave, the next one to be used up. Uh, and... Uh, I suspect that next um, check-in, this is going to be an empty. So these are the changes that happened in my perfume project uh, this month. One of the perfumes that I was going to use is used up. One of them is rotated in. Uh, most of them I used except for Air and Lilac Path. I haven't touched that one much, but it's still not the right season for it. I should have waited to rotate it in. It's not quite the right season for it, but I do expect myself to be reaching for it like within the next couple of weeks, basically, because uh, that's when the weather is really starting to pick up, getting slightly warmer and spring spirits being in the air. So that's it for today. This is what happened with my fragrances in the last month, the ones that I'm focusing on to finish up. What have you used up, if anything, in the last month? Or also let me know down below which perfumes have you been reaching for for the spring um, or winter to spring transition. Uh, we're all very curious, so share in the comments. That's it for today. Have a good day. Good luck. Stay well. Stay healthy. I wish you good mood and good health. Talk to you soon. Bye.